When the construction of Burj Khalifa was underway, the entire structure was somehow erected. Now it was time to install the window panels. The engineers thought that installing window panels wasn't rocket science, so they didn't pay much attention to it. But then, the unexpected happened. Due to Dubai's scorching heat and considering it's the tallest building in the world, the window panels that were supposed to be installed caused the internal temperature of Burj Khalifa to shoot up to dangerous levels during the daytime. The temperature became so high that entering the building during the day was simply not possible for any human being. This issue turned out to be the biggest problem during the construction of Burj Khalifa. The interior design work had to be stopped for a total of 18 months. Construction came to a complete halt, but then something happened that reignited hope in the hearts of the management and engineers. Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the tallest structure in the world, standing 2,716 feet high, piercing through the clouds. The total cost of this building came to $1.5 billion. Not only did it cost a fortune, but it is also considered one of the most fascinating achievements in engineering history. This incredible feat was completed by engineers, architects, and workers after facing unimaginable challenges. What kind of problems did they face? And how were those problems solved? You'll learn all of that in today's video. Challenge number one. The first challenge in building Burj Khalifa was to finish construction on time. Engineers were given only six years to complete the entire structure. Out of those six years, just the designing process alone required three years. If they had spent three years only on designing, then physically completing the building in the remaining time would not have been possible. So the engineers decided to start construction without finalizing the design. That's why by February 2004, excavation had already begun, while the design work was carried out side by side. Challenge number two. When it was time to lay the foundation of Burj Khalifa, another issue arose. Usually, tall buildings are built on large rocks deep under the ground. But the land beneath Burj Khalifa had no such rocks, just sandy stones and small weak rocks. So the question arose, would the tallest building in the world be built on such weak stones? Could these weak rocks really support such immense weight? To tackle this challenge, a basic principle of science was applied and with great effect. Burj Khalifa's foundation was laid on 192 solid steel piles that were driven 250 meters into the ground. The entire weight of the building was not just resting on one or two piles, but evenly distributed across all 192 piles. Challenge number three, for the design of Burj Khalifa, the construction company GMR approached a top architecture firm in Chicago. This firm had previously designed the structures of several tall buildings, but even their team was overwhelmed at the idea of designing the tallest building in the world. The challenge was to design a structure that could bear the weight of millions of tons of concrete and steel. It had to be bright with natural light, and it had to be a building with 160 floors. After days and nights of brainstorming, the firm finally found a solution, the buttress structure used for the first time ever in Burj Khalifa. Challenge number four. Meanwhile, the construction team was building floor after floor, but as they went higher, a new problem emerged. The concrete mixture they prepared would dry up before reaching the upper floors. There was only one solution to this problem, a concrete pumping system. From the bottom to the top of Burj Khalifa, huge pipes were installed. These pipes carried the concrete mixture to the upper floors. This wasn't ordinary concrete. The total weight of the concrete used in Burj Khalifa equaled the weight of 100,000 elephants. To pump such a massive amount of concrete, three of the world's most powerful pumps were brought in, and they got the job done. Challenge number six. Only two years were left before the launch of Burj Khalifa. The structure of all the floors had been completed, but one thing was still missing the glass panels. Yes, over 24,000 glass panels had to be installed on Burj Khalifa. When they started installing the glass, the building's interior temperature, because of Dubai's heat and the building's height, would rise to over 100 degrees Celsius. Cooling the building with these panels required 10 times more electricity. Solving this issue took 18 months. Eventually, world-renowned engineer John Irfan said he had a solution, but it would be very expensive. With no other choice, his solution was accepted. John developed a special kind of glass that reflected UV rays from sunlight. But each glass panel cost $2,000, and they needed 24,000 such panels. That came to a total of $360 million. A dedicated factory was built just to manufacture these glass panels. And within just four months, the aluminum glass panels were ready. Challenge number seven, in the final year of construction, Burj Khalifa was almost ready for launch. 
all electrical, water, and gas systems had been completed, but something was still missing. The topmost portion of Burj Khalifa needed to be capped with a solid steel pipe, 136 meters long and weighing 35 tons. There wasn't a single crane in the world that could lift such a heavy pipe that high above the clouds, but the launch was critical. So the engineers decided that the 136 meter rod would be assembled piece by piece inside the building. Each part was carried up separately and then reassembled at the very top of Burj Khalifa. Challenge number eight. Now Burj Khalifa was completely built, but years of dust and construction waste had covered the building. The final task was to polish the entire exterior. There was no solution for this except to hang workers from ropes to clean all 24,000 window panels from the outside. To this day, the window cleaning of Burj Khalifa is still done by human workers. We'll see you again in the next amazing video.